All right, guys, real quick video today. I'm out here in my mist area. Pardon the construction work going on in the background, but I wanted to give you a quick update on these crepe myrtle cuttings. Now, I did these six or seven weeks ago. When I say did them, I mean I made the cuttings, stuck them under the mist for propagation, and now they are right there. And I want to have a look at them myself, but I want to show you how they're doing. And after six or seven weeks under mist, let's just see how they look. Now I have pulled that tray out from under the mist and I've set it out here on my table to have a look at it. And as you can see, I'm getting some good growth here from my fingertip up. That's new growth this is put on. That one obviously is rooted very well. And then we have some that look exactly the same way they look as the day I put them in here. Now, pulling on that just a little bit and those are tight like that won't just slip out of there when I pull up on it so I know that those also are developing roots and this is Natchez crepe myrtles and this particular tray has done really well in fact just looking at it here I don't see a single dud in the batch let's see that one doesn't yeah that one looks good too I mean it looks like this is going to be a really high success tray but I just wanted to show these to you that after you know six or seven weeks in the mist this is what you can expect and i will actually need to pull these out of the mist and set them just kind of on the outer edge so they're not getting as much so that way they'll start hardening off a little bit and not be so tender and so delicate because we want to start working our way in that direction as quickly as we can but i wanted to just give you an update on these actually this is in response to a question that i got on one of the videos give us an update so here's you an update on those crepe myrtle cuttings all right, guys, so that was just a quick update on these. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll have a more long-form video on the channel tomorrow at the same time and place as normal, but I love y'all, and I'll see you then.